One, two, three. One, two, three. Last three out. Bit nervous. <laughs> um, had my evening meal. Rumbly tummy, upset stomach, turned into full blown diarrhea. And then um, came into the cabin and the AIS uh, had failed. So it's this thing here, unplugging things, plugging them back in. Uh, to Narval, two and a half years of real, real hard work. Uh, just went up and smoked in front of me today. <laughs> So I'm just about to start my uh, morning routine. I'm getting quite concerned. Quite a brisk wind kicking up the sea out there. And it's quite dirty, choppy, horrible. Um, I've been tossed over a couple of times. just heard the radio go and it sounded like someone tried to contact me and I had a look and the Echo Max is flashing orange which means there's something close by so I thought I'd just stick my head out the window and have a look just check make sure there's nothing bearing down on us oh, I can see land <laughs> just over there <laughs> Cold out there. <laughs> I'm just starting me running to um, Las Palmas uh, without any navigation equipment. Got a ship coming up behind me. I'm trying to warn them off that I'm here and I'm not very manoeuvrable. This is hope. This is hope over. Um, just about to start my morning routine. Um, normally I would be rowing now, but uh, it's just blowing a hooli out there. Uh, I was surprised when I worked out yesterday how far I've got to go, and I know it's in a straight line, but it was like 2,454, this morning it's like 2,038, uh, something. So I'm like, well, you know, in a couple of days, in a few days, I'm going to be, you know, 1,900 and something, and then you blink, and then it's going to be 1,000 to go. Oh no, not that one as well. Why is that one stopped? up by three massive waves like the boat was like that it's a wave like foaming around you bloody sore I'm feeling a bit down's too strong a word just feels pointless I keep 
keep looking either side of me so I'm thinking what on earth am I doing? I've got over a thousand miles and I've gone under 2,000 miles to go. This is my reality now. This little cabin, <laughs> cat there on the oars. I'm like Lee Spencer from Dagenham. And I'm in a rowing boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on my own. I thought it was Saturday and I was going to start Saturday, morale Saturday, with morale pants, new pair of pants. I have to wait till tomorrow now. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. <sighs> that was a very, very hard two hours absolutely blistering sunshine out there and zero breeze today's day 32 so that's me finishing in 60 days that's taking 36 days off the record and I've got that in my head now Lasted uh, three days, and it looks like the actual gearing's gone on this one. And this one lasted ten minutes, so I'm going to try and bastardise another auto well mount the two of them. It's coming up to seven o'clock at night. It's dark. Been really really windy all day and then just coming up the sunset about five o'clock uh, bearing in mind I'm two hours behind um, so that'll be about seven o'clock real time the um, wind just kicked up and the waves are just coming from all kinds of directions and it's just going backwards and forwards it's a bit scary actually <laughs> beeping and crashing on and off is every, everything's gone so I'm gonna go down the bottom with some spray try and unplug it first of all see if that'll make a difference um, and then see what the problem is fuck well that was a very 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 stressful five hours um, and I think it's fixed. Tomorrow at some point I'll go through the thousand miles to go, then I'll start counting down. So two and a half weeks to just under three weeks to go. <laughs>
can't tell you how good these taste. Mm -hmm.